Hello, my name is Sean Park, your friendly urologist in Seoul. And today we are going to talk about the herpes virus. Herpes virus, there are type 1 and type 2 herpes viruses uh, with us. So mostly patients in the US, they got infected with herpes type 2. It consists about 80 or more percentage of the total infection. And it happens in the genital area in classic settings. And herpes type 1 is causing, commonly known as a cold sore. It happens around lips. In traditional ways, uh, type 1 herpes happens around your lips, type 2 happens around in the down there, like the genital areas. But nowadays, it is intermingled. Sometimes type 2 happens in your lips, type 1 happens down there. Distinction between type 1 and type 2 nowadays uh, really means little. I've seen many patients, uh, you know, freaked out uh, if they are rather get infected with the herpes. Because as we all know, herpes is a lifelong condition. If you got infected, there's a good chance that it will stay inside your system all throughout your life. So uh, for them, it's like a stigma of the fertness or something like that. Actually, we still do not know how one get infected with the herpes. Definitely it's coming from the skin contact, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a sexual contact. Like uh, your friends had a, you know, just a social kiss on your cheeks, they can also transfer it. And uh, just a skin touch, you can still have it. So many good portion of the patients who already have a herpes do not know whether they have it or not. And a good portion of them have never ever had the symptom all throughout their life. So it's fairly impossible for us to scan every patient with the herpes and to prevent it. Prevention of the getting infected with the herpes is almost impossible. That's the first part of it. Second part of it is that it won't affect seriously any part of your life. It's just uh, some uncomfortableness. Let's say herpes has a you know cycle, so it in the normal skin it you can't really see it. It lives in the dermis or the lesion below epidermis, so it's kind of down there hibernating. But if your immune system becomes weaker, they reproduce and they replicate themselves and they make a lesions. It becomes a vesicle filled with the clear fluid because they want to spread, and then our immune system comes back and attacks the uh, viruses, so it ruptures, it becomes a skin ulcer. There's ulceration happens. And then also will be uh, covered with the scabs very tangently, then it becomes a normal skin. So this process takes about two to three weeks. And if the skin lesion is happening, like a vesicle, ulceration, scabs, that's when you can infect the others. When it's covered beneath the skin, like a normal skin, you cannot infect the others. So basically, avoiding skin contact, if you have any lesions, that will just prevent it from spreading. Many people worry about having it, but I think we have to think it in a different, different ways. It's just my theory and it's just my thought, but uh, I see herpes as a very great indicator of your general health. So even though you have a herpes, you have no symptom when your immune system is strong or the healthy. But they only shows up when you are unhealthy. You are stressed physically, emotionally, or overdid your work, didn't sleep well, didn't eat well, drink too much, whatever reason why. If your immune system or overall general health goes down, then they will show up. But still, we do not have any indicator, like a blood test or the anything we have, can tell us whether we are healthy or not in that kind of micro level. So if we use herpes viruses as an indicator, micro indicator of our general health, then we can maintain or the manage our general health much better than before. Let's say if you have herpes virus, you know, uh, the activation of the symptoms, then you take care of yourself better than before, like uh, having a good sleep, exercise, eat better. So if you utilize it, utilize the herpes virus infection like that, then you have an upper hand of managing your overall health. Actually, you can live healthier because of that. So make a lemon juice out of the lemon. <laughs> Don't be just uh, stressed out too much. I believe at a certain point, uh, scientists or the medical professionals will be able to develop some kind of indicators like that. If that happens, we'll all have a, some sort of an indicator in our forearm. If you're unhealthy, they erupts, means that we need a rest. So uh, if you think of that way, that can help you greatly. But still, some patients have too frequent, uh, I'll say, outbreaks. In cases like that, we have antiviral uh, pills or the ointments that can help the reducing the 
episodes. So in that case, you will need a treatment. Otherwise, herpes is a self-limited disease. For a short while later, two or three weeks later, it will just go away. All you have to do is not having a skin contact at a certain days when you have a symptoms. Don't worry about herpes too much. And if you are a suspicious one, there's a blood test which can uh, confirm whether you have it or not. We have herpes type 1 and herpes type 2 antigen and antibody test, which will tell us whether you have it or not. So if you have any suspicions of whether you have it or not, then you can get tested. But still, before you're getting a test, do think about whether you really need a test or not. Because even though you have it, there's a no cure for that. So bottom line, you don't have to worry about the herpes virus that much. It won't kill you or it won't aim, maim you. If you use it well, it can actually be a good buddy to, <laughs> to make you live a healthier life.